Hey guys, and welcome to What's Up Jude. Hi guys. Hey guys. Welcome to our new episode where we basically are going to talk about studies and their good and bad consequences. Yeah. So why did we choose this subject? Well, uh, our life have changed uh, since a while. And as we are students, we need to talk about studies uh, because I know that parents can see online online courses as an easy way or even easier than being in high school or college. Well, if you are a student, you are going to agree with me, I think. It is not. (laughs) It is not Um, at all. Yes, I don't know what you think about it, Alex, but in my opinion, I think it's even worse because, you know, we work alone, often in the same room as we sleep, maybe with your siblings and you don't see your friends, teacher don't communicate often with um, each other. So we really feel um, overwhelmed and it's just, you know, study and sleep. Yeah. So do you feel the same? Honestly, I do feel the same. And Mm -hmm. as you said, I think online school has good and bad sides. Good because Mm -hmm. like you can organize your day as Mm -hmm. you want, but bad because sometimes like you don't want to work and (laughs) you're just like, okay, I guess I have to do it. But yeah. And thankfully, like we have friends to help us to study. Mm. So I, we do study together. Like we just studied and I think this, this kind of, you know, rituals is motivating for everyone. Yeah. And I also agree that keeping in touch with the outside world is complicated because as you mm. said, like we, we kind of feel overwhelmed. Like you go to your computer, you work, then class ends and you, I don't know, you go you go yeah. eat and then you sleep and then the, and the day ju- is yeah yeah and just to say like um especially for students i think it's even worse because uh during the first lockdown like everybody was in lockdown you know but mm. during the second lockdown yeah not like everyone people can, yeah people can go work outside while students uh are just you know I feel like we were computer. we were the only one to be in mm. quarantine again, and then you know we kind of forget how how the the outside world was. Yeah. So even even kids were in high school in school. In school, yeah. Like I don't know. Two weeks ago, I went out and I was like, "Oh, why there are so many people outside? Aren't we <laughs> in quarantine?" And I was like, "Oh no, I forgot." I am the one. I am the only yeah. one to be quarantined right now. Mm. So, yeah, as I say, I think you can organize your day as you want. But for example, like you finish at two p.m. and you can work out, you can nap, you can bake. But when we used to be, you know, when we used to live our normal life, you finish at two p.m. Then you have to take the bus to go home, and then mm. you have to do homework and all this stuff take a, a lot of part of your day so I feel like it has a great side but anyway we talk about studies you know mm-hmm. and I think studies are great because they bring a new perspective of who you are as a person as a human being and sometimes they can help you discover who you are mm-hmm. like honestly I did feel studies had a great impact on my life Mm-hmm. but also bad, you know, we'll talk about <laughs> that later. And <laughs> so for example, when you're three years old, you know, you go to your first day of school and then you grow up. And I think this, like school brings you a new way of thinking. I don't know if mm. you get what I, what I want to yeah. say guys, but as like, as a, I don't know, as a young person, you can see how adults like you yes. think yes you have know. to learn yeah uh, to to prepare to live in an adult world yeah so yeah and 
sometimes, well, okay, so we talk about the great sides, but now、mm-hmm. I think I'm going to talk about the bad sides because at a certain yeah, do it <laughs> because at a certain level, I do honestly feel like that sometimes. I feel like school is stopping me. To do what I want to do, what I truly want to do, like for example, I truly want to travel. I want to see. I want to explore the outside world. But I feel like I'm stuck. I don't know if you if you、yeah. get the feeling, but yeah, I feel like I'm stuck. And sometimes, like we talk about creativity in the last podcast, and I feel like school is also stopping me being、yeah. creative. Creative.、Um, I don't know. But maybe it's just in France. I don't know. But you know, because、um, for example, when we were in our second secondary school、mm. and we had、um, art classes, yeah, you have to follow like the rule, and it's not what art is. Are. Yes, it, like no, you like, like creativity has rules in school. I think so. That's weird because. As we said, creativity has to be defined by each and、mm. every one of us, not by a certain rule. And I think so, that's why maybe our generation uh,、um, is tend to, you know,、uh, create、uh, outside of school,、mm. like we're doing here with、uh, our podcast, or、uh, I don't know, like、uh, on TikTok, or、uh, you know, I think maybe it's. The reason why our generation is doing it, maybe, maybe not, <laughs> because we need to find something、yeah. outside this、mm. study world and、mm. to yeah to express ourselves. Because I feel like school doesn't allow us to express、mm. ourselves. Can we talk about that, please? Because <laughs> yeah, especially where we live, like in France, because I don't know how it works in other country countries. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, well, I agree with you、um, with the part that、uh, it helps us with、um, you know new way of thinking, especially、yeah. uh, for economy or political thing.、Yeah. Many many areas, but I do think like there is something that we can't do because of school. Yeah, and creativity and creativity、um, is part of it. So. Yeah, honestly, like yeah, I do feel like this. I don't know, r- like right now we're in January, you know, and I don't know, like I feel I really want to do big things. I want to. I'm sorry, I'm not crying, guys. Just my voice cracked, you know. <laughs> I just want to do plenty of things, but you know, I always have this little voice in my head saying, "No, you have to, you have to work, you have to do that." So.、Yeah. In order to, you know, shut that a little voice、mm. in my head, we, for example, did our podcast because it do feel like a a safe place to express creativity,、mm. to express what we want to do. Like talking about studies is without without being judged. Yeah, because you know, like teachers, uh, uh, like、um, your classmates with- sometimes. Yes. And grades and all the stuff, you know, we just want to talk about what we want, and it's not possible in school, obviously, because we are too many, and so teachers are not able to, you know,、um, define you as a human being, but as a student. So yeah, and I don't know if, what you think about that, Leslie, but I think like in France, we should have. Um, classes where we talk, just talk, not being、uh, created.、Yeah. I know that sometimes in the UK they have that. I don't know how they they. I think I think it's cool it. because yes, and I think it's cool because,、um, you know, in school you learn many things, not just、uh, lessons about、uh, science or stuff like that, but you also learn, for example, how to be confident. Uh, with presentations or how to make new friends or you know just、um, like how can I say that like human skills, social、um, skills, yeah. And I think maybe we should have classes on that to 
social yeah, skills to express, yeah. to express to like yeah. apply them in real life because we have in our uh, was maybe in high school we have you know um this class where we talk about um yeah. you know what i mean the um, it's called enc yeah but yeah. i don't know it's like um we talk about uh, the french system and yeah like the french values Exactly. Um, how they were uh, but, put in the constitution and things like that. Yeah, but uh, well, it's it's we don't feel it's uh, really useful because we know it. Like we know what French values are. So maybe just talk about human beings. You know, like, like subject subjects like anxiety. Uh, I don't yeah. know cooking, anything but. <laughs> French values, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, not a uh, part of um, educa education system. system. Yeah. yeah, because uh, you know, like we work, we study a lot. So. Sometimes it is boring. Yeah, and hell, so. we can you know discover new things. For example, uh, movies. I remember that my. Um, Histor historical teacher history in history yeah, yeah history history. <laughs> history teacher in high school um presents presented us um a movie well no it was a series it's black mirror and i didn't know it was um, i in your class no i don't think no? so. no okay because i don't <laughs> remember it so i don't know <laughs> um and it was black mirror and it was like four years four years ago so it was really new and you know it was cool because black mirror if you don't know it is a good series it's on netflix and yeah. uh <laughs> and um and yeah you know just discover um culture and self-development and you know because like, like we learn about the outside world but we never get to inside world also apply what we we yeah. learned because yeah exactly that is frustrating sometimes because mm. for example we do we are um language students students yeah but we never get to for example see exchange students mm. well it yeah. is it was complicated this year but for example like mm. in high school we never had like we've never had exchange students no that's that's And, really yeah. sad But yeah, and I I want to say something, especially since this year, like people, I think like people think uh, that our generation is just you know screen, screen and screen, and I'm kind of overwhelmed of studying with a computer or mm -hmm. anything and being uh, available like twenty four hours out twenty four hours, you know to respond every mail or every time like yeah the, the second you receive it you have you have to answer yeah. it And that is stressful it's tired like not physically but tired for mental health and but also or... i like we told we've talked about that screens can be stressful but mm. sometimes just like we are doing right now over zoom it is sometimes sometimes comforting like in a way like in a way to i feel like screens and social medias can enhance creativity and yeah, push you to do better things i think when it's when it's in our um personal life you choose when you want to go yeah. on screen also, and the problem is with school well, you you like spend eight hours on computer even you, more when, now yeah when you study so when the time when you take a break you don't want to go on computer like even you get into watch, like a, yeah even for watching a youtube video you don't want to go <laughs> <laughs> you're like okay i spent 10 hours on this computer i need to get out of here <laughs> yeah because And my eyes are going to die but sometimes i it is complicated because you have to do homework on The internet yeah mm. like i don't know what do you think of it like 
Do you like doing homework on the internet? Like, well, my parents told me that it was, you know, better because we have totally everything. And, you know, it's faster and you can study, yeah, faster. Like you take two hours instead of six hours if you didn't have a um, computer. Yeah, uh, <laughs> because you can do research is <laughs> way faster. Yeah. So for this thing, it's better. But, you know, sometimes I just want to experience the fact that, you know, like search something in books maybe because you can learn like in a long-term way yeah like in three years you are going to remember this thing and when you search too fast on google for example well in one week you are going to forgot about it so i i do i do get your point of view sometimes like you know yeah you you need to make some efforts to you know to let your brain remember Search. yeah yeah remember but, this lesson and i think the word like the verb remember to remember mm. is important because school is all about that it's all about remember remembering something yeah and i think it's not well in france we you know it's just remember and tell the lesson and not learning like, personal uh, explanation or point of view well, sometimes, but, you know, it's not always. For example, we have um, this type of exercise that in France, we I don't, all I know. know. I know. What if we, and I yep. don't oh, know. It's like a, an essay, but like... It's called Une Dissertation. It's, yeah. Uh, that is awful. It's like a, an essay, but worst. <laughs> I, oh, and, my God. And it's just uh, like fact and... You know, like retranscript, retranscripting facts in order with yeah. like an introduction, a body, and then a conclusion. That is so boring to do. I, and you, you you can't you can't even express your point of view or well, yeah um, because you have this rule. Yes, yeah, and maybe, I and I, I think know. and I think school um, is not is not helping us for you know like develop our way of thinking personal thinking. Yeah. Yeah. and criticize even if you know you don't have to criticize everything but sometimes it's good and it's just like a basic uh way of thinking you know everybody yeah. uh thinks how to do it yeah so and to get back on what you were saying about you know not searching facts on internet i do feel mm. what you mean and i think maybe depending on the subjects that you are studying, you can split. For example, I know that I don't like to to do my history classes on the internet. I prefer writing. And also for my economic classes, I prefer writing than typing on the internet because I can remember um, like the formulas way better. So maybe guys, if you are struggling with um, studying on the internet, just try to split the subjects that you wanna do with a paper and the ones that you don't want to do on a paper, you know, that that can yeah. be a solution. And I think it's pretty hard this year to because, do that. Yeah, yeah, because uh, it's gonna be pretty hard next year. Uh, but I, well, I just miss those times. Like um, I remember, like the this afternoons where I needed to just spend three hours on uh, my homework mm -hmm. and then you were done without with that computer and it mm. was like just I was we used to do that you know uh for yeah. our baccalaureate yeah I don't know how to say that in English baccalaureate. Uh, yeah well, like we used to study at the library and that was really yeah. fun with all the yeah. you know the papers and we were like drawing things for our mm. social yeah. and economic classes that was that was fun mm. that was fun. we can't do that right now no <laughs> because we're we're talking of a zoom right now <laughs> that's yeah. sad yeah but uh maybe yeah. uh, in the next few years i guess a few months i don't know a few years probably <laughs> okay okay and i have a question mm -hmm. uh 
what do you like to do when you finish classes? Like now that um, you can organize I, your day. Yeah, I have some issues to, you know, just let it go and just like, okay, it's over. Like school time is over. Like I just, I need like about an hour just to realize that, okay, it's over. Like, but an hour <laughs> is pretty long. So um, often I eat. You know, because I love eating. Yeah. <laughs> I cook. I, you know, just take some time for me. But it's pretty hard because, uh, as always, as I was saying, um, I feel overwhelmed yeah. because teacher in twenty twenty teacher uh, don't teachers sorry don't communicate with each other each other oh my and god so oh we have god. plenty of food <laughs> and we're like okay i have to do something and you finish an homework and like three homeworks is wait, are are waiting for you so. yeah oh my god when you say that teacher are not organized i mm. i felt it you know oh you know like people in my class group on whatsapp um one of um, this guy um, told us, like, what? We don't have, like, many homework. That is okay, you know. That is not whatever. okay. You that can is do not whatever. okay. <laughs> yeah, you can do whatever you want. Like, while I was uh, working for about 15 hours a day, mm. and it was, oh, that is okay. No, it is not. And uh, when, we, <laughs> when we saw It is our... not. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is not. <laughs> when we saw our grades well he failed it well i also think sometimes people have, have different ways of working yeah maybe and i know um like uh, our generation like uh working likes like likes L likes to work yeah likes, yeah. <laughs> uh, likes uh, likes to work at night I don't during, like to do that. Like in 2 p.m., like people I, are just like, oh, yeah, like do some science. Work. Are you a morning person or a night person to morning. work? Like, yeah, me well, too. Well, it depends. It depends. Like it's some period, but uh, when it's night, it's night. It's like uh, like uh, midnight, but after I'm, you know. Yeah. Like I prefer to wake up early when everyone is mm. sleeping. Oh, yeah. So I, oh my God, I just, I do like mornings for that. Like even, even, if I, even if yeah. I do not have to work, you know, so, yeah. was, you, during the summer, <laughs> I did, I did a thing. It was like, um, I follow the sun. Like he mm -hmm. was like, he was, um, like there was sunset, rising so, at, at yeah. six, maybe. Well, was there was sunset. And then, so I was going to sleep and there was sunrise and yeah. I was going to wake up. And sunrise in summer, you know it, it's pretty early. early. <laughs> so I was that, like... That's cool. At 5 a.m. I was like, okay, the day is coming. And nobody was awake. So... That's... I do, I do like mornings for that, honestly. Mm. Because everything is quiet and you're like, okay, I'm going to work on that. For two hours, like maybe you during seven to to nine. Well, seven is not that early for me. Mm. Anyway, so seven to nine a.m. and then you're done for the day and you have all your day. Well, like you can do whatever well, you oh, want. Oh, well, you. It's because you work two hours, but <laughs> but if you work like maybe I don't know four hours and but you yeah, start at two six hours, and yeah. you start at six, you have by by ten a.m. you're finished. Anyway, just guys, <laughs> can you <laughs> can you let us know maybe by sending send, sending messages? Are you a morning or a night person to study? I don't know. We need to know. We need answers. <laughs> and you know, people maybe wonder how we stay productive by doing online score schools. Well, so how do you? That is that is a difficult question. Um, Maybe you're not. How do I stay productive? Yeah. Okay, I have this thing. You told me that, Leslie, a yeah. while ago. That, 
sometimes I do I do many things in my day, mm-hmm. but I don't <laughs> feel I don't feel productive at all. Like that's weird because I can like <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. You dude. can explain it. Okay, you can explain it. <laughs> dude, like she it's 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 10 a.m. and she sends me a message on WhatsApp and she you know she writes, Oh, uh so I did this and this and this and I exercised and I made and I and I cooked and I okay and it's 10 a.m. and she already did like 3,000 stuff. And, and I I'm, don't feel productive at all. That's the yeah. problem because I... And I'm like 10 a.m. and I just did like nothing. <laughs> because I feel like I'm used to do plenty of things in mm-hmm. a short amount of time. Yeah. So... In order to feel productive, I need to, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. So how I say productive by doing online school, I feel like I just have to do it. So I wouldn't yeah, well, say I'm productive, you know. Mm. And I think, I, yeah. And I think it's it's pretty hard online, in online school because it's new and you know, like, for example, I'm not a professional of um, IT. So I'm like, ah, all right. I what? I'm not a professional of IT, like computer. And Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, the heck? <laughs> <laughs> IT. And uh, so sometimes, you know, with uh, courses, I'm like, ah, what is going on? And um, It's a bit lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, But it's okay, you know. You, you don't can you you are able not to be productive you know it's part of the processes and i think especially these times mental health is important so if you're not good yeah. in your man you're not good at school so just take your time and if people don't understand like and if being productive for you is working 30 minutes a day, it's okay. Yeah, it's still 30 minutes. Yeah, because we have, we all have our own, like, perspective of being productive. Yeah. Sometimes people like to, I don't know, maybe being productive for 30 minutes a day will be their their definition of being productive. Mm. But for me, for myself, um, I need to do plenty of things to feel productive. Mm. So, and during the first lockdown, like I know there was this uh exercise trend, like uh, people were like, Oh, we're going to exercise, and you know, some not follow it, yeah, okay. But you exercise like pretty much every day, and people who did not exercise, uh, yeah, they felt bad, yeah. But it's okay, you know. <laughs> but it's okay. You don't have to exercise to be productive, yeah. you know. Yeah, people are totally dying at those people, and you're not exercise. Like that's okay, you know. That's not gonna kill you, you know. <laughs> Do your so. thing. Mm. So maybe also, uh, this is a real advice, by the way. You can change spots, like your study study spots. Like you can work in your room. Oh but- yeah. Totally. You can also work in the, the kitchen. I, I was and, doing that. And it helps, I think, for, you know, just um, learn lessons. Because yeah. if you just focus on the same thing in the same room, the same day, the same hour, your brain is going to like, oh. cry. Yeah. I have and so if also. you change and, and if you change um, your space, maybe, you know, it's new, it's fresh and your brain is going to learn easier. So and yeah. I think also to be productive, like for your online courses, you need to like not need, you can, you can try to do a schedule, maybe mm. wake up at eight and you do mm. this from nine to 10 and then well, maybe not, not every precise, day, not, yeah, not precise precisely. schedules, you know, you, well, I don't like the fact that like, you know, 10 to 11, I have to do this thing yeah uh but you know in in the day i have to do like three things 
Yeah. And that's okay. I can do whatever I want. And, you but know, it's, it's less um, stressful. stressful. So, but maybe yeah. setting a, a hour to stop. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, uh, an hour for studying. Yeah. But not like a strict. Uh, I know schedule. that, for example, um, I like to stop working at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. So that way I know that after 6 p.m. I'm done with my day and I can do whatever I want. Like I can bake, I can nap, okay. I don't know. <laughs> That's when I don't have many homework, you know. But yeah, maybe not like sk schedule your day with well, the thing. Well, just have hours, have... Like, like study hours. Yeah. Uh, uh, just like uh, the Pomodoro station. I do, like, yeah. You know, Pomodoro, like 25 uh, minutes. That is for 45 45 minutes, 10 well, minutes. Well, it depends, you know, it's just a power, oh, like a... Mine was like 45 minutes to work and then 10 minutes a break. And I was okay. doing that for two I, I don't really do Pomodoro because, oh. uh, you know, I'm this state of flow. Like, yeah. when I'm in, I'm in. And when I'm out, I'm out. That's it. <laughs> I do Pomodoro sessions for um, my house classes. Yeah. Such as but, yeah, I, I just... It just don't suit me because mm. um, you have to w to try also. Yeah, guys. also try. But yeah, it just don't suit me because I'm really I free I feel sorry frustrated because you know I'm in the flow and then bim it's a break. Bim was but like I, a French word. <laughs> <laughs> I have for our um, English speakers. That's if you don't understand that, that's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? No. Oh, maybe not yeah. really. I was yeah. like, when you were saying that you was like following the sun, that's a thing to try, mm. guys. Yeah, that's maybe. a thing to try. Maybe in summer, because in winter, your day is going to be really short, but. <laughs> 9 a.m., the sun is rising. <laughs> like uh, 5 p.m., the sun is setting. Yeah. <laughs> If you don't have anything to say, um, we're going to wrap up, guys. And mm. please send us messages on our link that we're going to link, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And the hashtag. And the hashtag, of course. We need to check the hashtag, by the way. <laughs> I, che I check. Okay. It was good because I was like, that's checking. <laughs> because you say, parce que. Oui, I was like, going to speak French again. <laughs> so... Okay. Bye-bye, guys. And take care. Bye. Bye.